Welcome to GMAT Math Online Math Prep Videos. In this GMAT Math Online video, we explain concepts involving real numbers. We start with ranges and intervals of values. The range of a set of numbers is the non-negative difference between the largest and smallest numbers in the set. Notice that the range is a single number. Intervals of values, on the other hand, constitute sets of numbers in which a given value might be found. Intervals are indicated through inequalities. For example, x is greater than or equal to 3 or less than or equal to 20 is an interval of values, any one of which may be assumed by the variable x. The range of this interval is 20 minus 3, which equals 17. Problem. If the range of the five numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and x, is 10, then the minimum possible value for x is... And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. The range is the difference between the smallest and the largest numbers. In this case, we want to know the minimum possible value for x to make the range 10. We are tempted to say 11, because all the numbers listed are positive, so we're thinking in terms of positive numbers, and 11 minus 1 equals 10. But negative numbers are also possible, and in this case, since 4 is the largest number listed, and 4 minus minus 6 equals 4 plus 6, which equals 10, then minus 6, which is less than 11, is the value we want. So the correct answer is E. Now let's look at defined operators. Plus, minus, and times are operators on numbers, representing addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Other operators can be defined which generalize these notions. New operators can test our ability to reason rather than just to automatically react as we would if we were doing a normal arithmetic calculation. With addition and multiplication, we see that a plus b equals b plus a, and a times b equals b times a. But this is not necessarily the case with other operations. For example, a minus b does not usually equal b minus a. Defining other operators can lead to some interesting results. Problem. Define an operator box as follows. For all non-zero real numbers a and b, a box b equals a plus 2b over ab. If 2 box 3 equals 4 thirds, what is 3 box 2? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. Problems like these can be fun because they generalize the ideas of addition and multiplication, both of which are themselves operations. So let's plug in the numbers and see what happens with this operation. 2 box 3 equals 2 plus 2 times 3 over 2 times 3, which equals 2 plus 6 over 6, and that equals 8 over 6, which equals 4 thirds. Thus we can see that the first part of the problem statement is true. 2 box 3 does equal 4 thirds. Now let's reverse the roles of 2 and 3. 3 box 2 equals 3 plus 2 times 2 over 3 times 2, which equals 3 plus 4 over 6, and that equals 7 sixths. So the correct answer is E. Next, we look at leading zeros after the decimal point. The number 0 .00000183 has five leading zeros after the decimal point. This can be important in certain calculations, because in scientific notation, 0 .00000183 equals 1.83 times 10 to the minus sixth. Numbers expressed in scientific notation are extremely valuable in physics, chemistry, engineering, and other branches of science. Problem. 
how many leading zeros to the right of the decimal point are in the expansion of 4 over 100 to the fifth power? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. 4 to the fifth equals 2 to the tenth and 100 to the fifth equals 10 to the tenth. So 4 over 100 to the fifth equals 2 to the tenth over 10 to the tenth. Now 1 over 10 to the tenth equals 10 to the minus tenth, which equals 0 .000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000